good sunny morning YouTube. I am out here gonna go get in the pool in a little bit. Uh, posting a video here, I've got a 2006 Porsche 911 with the uh, AV whatever uh, 4400 next. It's one of the first wireless receivers without navigation that I put in the Porsche. And the SD card went bad. It's a known issue with these. So shout out to Manic Sex and whoever I bought this SD card from um, on eBay. Totally works great. And here's a video to show you how to do it. Now, the problem with my head unit is I couldn't pull it out. The, the mounting hardware that it comes with when you put that unit in, it's, it locks and it locks into place. And you got to take the whole dash apart. I wasn't doing that. So break out the handy dandy Dremel tool. I dremeled in, cut around where the SD card is. You'll see that. Replaced it. Everything works great. Sorry about the camera angle. Here's the video. Have fun. By the way, if you like this channel, like or you like the content, like and subscribe. We love it. I think we're up to like, I don't know, 20 followers by now. <laughs> we're bigger on Instagram. Ball Vice on Instagram. All right, I'm gonna tell everybody what's going on here. I have the uh, Next 4400 um, wireless Pioneer radio receiver. Um, on the face plate, this was a pain in the neck, there's a slide latch and I got it with a credit card. You can see it right here. You press it in and press it and it releases the face plate off the base. A Little bit of a pain in the neck to get this thing's not operating. This is an SD card. Below this, right in here, is the factory SD card. What I'm gonna do is get a Dremel and I'm actually gonna go ahead and, and take this out from here to here so I can get in there and pull the factory SD card out and replace it. Note, I've got a uh, 2006 Porsche 911 and this kit cannot be removed. I have to take the whole dash apart to get this the head unit out of here. It's a pain in the neck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna Dremel this guy out right here very carefully so I can get that factory SD card out and replace it with one that I bought online on eBay. Stay tuned. Huge shout out to Manix C for posting the original video on YouTube. I'm overlaying his with my additional details on how to make this work. Our eBay seller comes through. That is the old one. This is garbage, the new one's in, and we are up and running and working. Shout out to all those on YouTube that posted on this. I'm digging it, I'll post my own video. I'll have to mess with this later on and do whatever I'm gonna do on the trimming of the video and everything. Get some of these wires and stuff out of the way here. So I'm gonna be really careful on this. So I'm gonna cut that there. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it slightly. Now then. I actually, I couldn't have done that any better because there's the SD card. All right, let's get the other SD card. Here you can see as I zoom in where I've cut away the bottom and put the SD card in and take it out. I bought the uh, one for the next 4400. This is a SanDisk uh, pre-programmed SD card. So it's got everything in there that I need to make this work. So we're gonna take this guy out of there and it should literally just go right in there. And I'll give it a little bit of, a little bit of a push and it's in. So now the million dollar question is, is I roll that up just like that I'm gonna put my head unit back in there now let's see what we get power on there we go uh-oh there we go. There we go. 
is back up and operational. That was not that hard. I had a little bit of Dremelin to do. I'll vacuum that thing out later on. This is the replacement of the, uh, and by the way, I'm gonna have to repair all my stuff in here so you won't be able to see that. But if you look at this, now we've got it all in there and it should be set. I'm just gonna get repaired. All right, and we are back up and connected. I'm wired connected. I disconnect here and we'll set up wireless. Okay, we are wirelessly connected. We're gonna plug this drill back in. I'm gonna start the car up here as well, just to see what we get. I'll shorten this video, but we are all connected in here. Phone is charging as I plug it in. This is the battery indicator. And we'll unplug it, stays connected. So, it's all working. I'll post the video on YouTube so everybody can see it.